Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is doing a ranking video. Now I know you guys really like these videos. We haven't been doing them too, too much, but I feel like we're, it's, you know, it's time to do another one. So what we're going to be doing today is taking five tanks in the game. So Frank, Primo, Bull, Rosa, and Daryl. And what we're going to be doing is ranking them for you guys today from least to best, the five best tanks in the game. Let's start off into the first game. Let's get into it and let's see who's the fifth best tank in the game. Okay, so getting into the first game, we're going to be going with El Primo. Now, El Primo, unfortunately, even though he might be the most fun tank in the game, he's going to be ranked the worst. And the reason being is because he's not really that, that good at too many modes. I feel like most tanks actually are really good in a lot of modes, but Primo, for some reason, just isn't that. He's really good in Brawl Ball. Definitely one of the best Brawl Ball brawlers in the game. Maybe not at super high level or in competitive, but in just casual ladder, he's definitely really, really good. He's an amazing goal scorer. Probably the second best goal scorer in the game. But I mean, he just doesn't crack it when it comes to any other modes. He's okay at gem at best. Um, he isn't very good at heist or siege. And I mean, he's a decent counter to some comps, but he also gets countered a ton. He's also not very good at solo mode. So in showdown, you're not going to be seeing him a lot. Neither, uh, neither with takedown or in... Um, or in Lone Star. So that's the reason why we're gonna be ranking Primo at the number five spot. As for Brawlers, he counters, there isn't many, but there's Brawlers like Carl, I guess, BB, that you can counter decently well when you have your super. You guys see Carl just ran over us because he had a super and we didn't. Primo, although probably the most fun Brawler um, when it comes to the tanks, and maybe even one of the most fun Brawlers in the game, unfortunately, he just isn't that good. He is not up to par when it comes to the rest of the tanks, and that is why Primo is going to be fifth on this list. So what we're gonna be doing now is just finish up these games over here or this game you guys can see we're actually going up against a lot of counters um, again we can counter Rico and uh, Carl when we have our jump which is the best part about Primo is that he can actually counter basically everything when he has his jump his jump is super lethal time that jump over the Shelly unfortunately they scored you hate to see it the teammates aren't holding their own weight but that is fine we're gonna be sneaking up this right side also one of the worst range if not the worst range in the game so that's also a huge reason why it's so low on this list Budge good move over there, destroying that Carl. But yeah, that that is why he's not going to be that good. Unfortunately, he's just not well-rounded enough. He actually used to be one of the best brawlers in the game, but I feel like nothing really happened to him. Just people's IQ got better. Um, they were able to stay away from tanks easier than they were before. We'll just jump on this Carl over here, try and kill it. Not going to be... Uh, maybe we will be able to. Yep, there we go. Shelly over here protecting the ball. This is actually a really, really, really good game. They probably just won. Actually, maybe not. In open maps, though, they definitely have the superior comp. For the sole reason that we have a primo. Fudge Cake's got the ball. He's going to super pass it right to us. And we're just going to put that ball in the right side. And that is going to be the end of the first game. And that is going to end our primo. Let's go to number four. You guys might be a little bit surprised by this one, but let's head over to it and let's show you guys what number four is. So going into number four, we're going to have Frank. Now this is actually pretty interesting because Frank does have the most HP in the game with his second star power. Now, first thing I want to say about Frank is he probably is a bottom three brawler if you don't have any star powers, which obviously is a huge issue. Um, I took a poll to see how many, per what percentage of you guys have star powers or are max or something like that. And not too many of you guys are. I would say it's about 50%, um, which obviously is a really, really low number when it comes to max maxed out. Um, and a lot of you guys just don't have all the star powers. So that's unfortunate, obviously. And Frank must, to be honest, suck, suck for you guys. guys. But for a lot of other people, he's actually not that bad. So let's talk about what Frank can do. Frank's got the most HP in the game. So a lot of the times, just you standing there, standing places with all your HP is enough to scare people off. Nobody's going to run here because of our HP solely. No one can walk up to us. Sauce with a good super over there. And I mean, Frank is actually quite versatile. Let's get a super going over here. We're able to hit two. Um, Frank's also a really good goal scorer, just like Primo. And obviously, the HP caps it off. So he's good in a lot of modes. Obviously, Brawl Ball. I don't have to speak about Brawl Ball. He's okay in gem. He has his moments, but he isn't too good at gem. Not that good at heist. He's good in a few uh, solo modes. In solo showdown, he's definitely not good. Same with duos. But he's actually not that bad in Lone Star or Takedown, surprisingly. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, takedown also, though, I definitely wouldn't suggest using him. There's like four brawlers that you can actually use in Takedown. It's actually quite bad the meta there but anyways that doesn't matter he's pretty good in siege he's probably one of the best tanks in siege just because of his insane dps 
and obviously you guys know he's just an insane raw ball brawler really really good let's try and split him not able to do so we'll get the goal and put it in the net that's gonna end frank frank also just to add on to a few other points is probably the most counterable brawler in the game literally half the brawlers are just hard hard counter frank fortunately though if you're not facing any of those hard counters you're probably gonna dominate a game with frank but those hard counter brawlers are the brawlers that are usually always in meta. It's unfortunate, but Frank is going to get the number four spot due to his a little bit more, um, just to just due to him being more viable a little bit more than Primo. So anyways, let's hop on to number three. You guys are going to be shocked by number three, but here we have coming with you or coming at you. You guys are going to see exactly what it is and you guys are going <laughs> to... So coming in at number three is going to be none other than Rosa. Now, I know you guys are probably super surprised by Rosa. A lot of people think Rosa is one of, if not the best brawlers in the game and is in the best comp in the game. Now, I can agree Rosa is in the best comp in the game. I can agree Rosa has been one of the best brawlers in the game. But in the current meta, Rosa is stupid strong. She is really 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 good and has never ever been this good or even close to this good ever before now obviously rosa is super good right now and competitive but that's just due to the capo or the copo or whatever it is i forgot what it's called being so ridiculously strong rosa actually isn't that strong alone you guys can see i'm going to be running through a few like ladder players over here but it's actually not that good to be honest um you do get hard countered by quite a few things um, just like every other tank does so it's not really shocking that you're gonna get hard counted every now and then uh, We're gonna get the first goal over there But the reason we put Rosa here is because she doesn't really dominate a mode Frank and Primo dominate Brawl Ball Rose is really 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 good at siege But obviously she does have her counters in that mode more than anyone else does um, In Brawl Ball Rose is really good in gem grab Rose is also decently good heist She's not usable Lone Star not really usable takedown not usable and showdown she's not really usable so that's why we're going to give rosa the number three spot she's pretty good in three out of like the nine modes or the eight modes or whatever it is but in everything else she's just literally unplayable and that's why rosa is going to be our number three tank sorry in the game so coming in at the number two position and i really 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 wanted to put him number one we have bull now bull is a beast in a lot of modes probably the best heist brawler in the game not bad at brawl ball the best takedown brawler in the game outside of colt and pam the best one of the best lone star brawlers in the game one of the best showdown brawlers in the game bull is just on a mission he's insane at siege as well pretty he's not very good at gem but gem is his second worst mode and he's definitely still usable bull is definitely the most viable when it comes to being just solid in every single mode he has two stall solid star power so it doesn't really matter which one you get it's really interchangeable it's just based on preference and bull is always going to be in the meta now bull isn't very strong it's just the type of brawler he is it's his brawler type that makes him so so strong you can also just run over other tanks like you just saw me do to that rosa easily able to kill the carl over there and i mean there's just so much i can say about bull He's such an under well, like just undervalued brawler. He's so good and just so well-rounded. And he doesn't get as hard countered as the other tanks does because he can also chip away at distance. He can go really close. He can kind of do whatever you need him to do. We're going to go down over there to the Rosa super, but Bull is just kind of one of a kind. The only thing that kind of holds Bull back is his super. His super isn't amazing, but that doesn't really matter. It's just a little bit of a charge through the middle or just a little bit of a charge. Um, it's really good in some modes, but like heist, but it's not really too, too well-rounded. Um, gonna go down over there again, but that's why we, why we put Bull at number two. And honestly, I wanted to put him at number one because balances change, brawlers get worse, some get better. Um, things always change, but one thing that's never gonna change is Bull's effectiveness in so many modes. And that's why I wanted to put him at number one, but he's gonna be number two right now because number one is literally the best brawler in the game. It's not even close. And I'm going to explain why in the next game. So let's head into it and let's show, and show you guys exactly who the number one brawler in the game is. Okay, so here we go into the last game. And the number one, not only tank, but brawler in the game is going to be um. our boy Daryl. Now, Daryl is a really, really, really strong brawler. And let me tell you why. So Daryl basically has no counters. His one counter would be Shelly, but even a Shelly you can beat. Um, he's part of the dream comp of Daryl, Poco, and Rosa, so that, again, is, for you guys who don't know, is the best comp in the game. And his only counter, which is Shelly, you're able to beat fairly easily. So let me tell you exactly why he's the best brawler in the game. Not only does he have insane HP, insane damage, but he's also an assassin. So he can just roll on people and get kills super, super easily. 
you like it's absolutely insane to be honest what this what daryl can do the fact that he so, has so much hp and does so much damage yet he's able to simply just roll on anybody that he wants to get close to it's just a very very unfair advantage for him so we're facing toonie toonie's obviously a really good player We've, he's played in videos with us a few times primo is one of the only like decent counters to daryl so it's a little bit unfortunate that we're playing him this game but you guys know we do like to show the losses and we like to show the game is real we don't like to show anything fake so we're just going to roll up this left side over here get a few shots off kind of expose where they are sauce is doing really good hopefully fudge can expose where toonie is Really good play over there by Toonie, actually. We're just going to back out over here. We're a little bit hit. We're going to move to this right bush over here and try and go for the goal. Obviously, you guys know Daryl is one of the best goal scorers in the game. We're going to make a sneak play. They didn't know we were there, and that's going to be a free goal. That was a little bit of high IQ play over there. Just moving to that bush when they spawn so they wouldn't know where we are. So I was going to do a little bit of a spin. But again, no hard counters. He's really, really good in gem, in brawl ball, in heist in showdown and duo showdown and takedown i can go on and on when it comes to how good daryl is in modes there really isn't a mode that he can't play in to be honest i'm going to do a little bit of an assassination attempt i'm going to do a lot of damage hopefully fudge can clean this one up and put it in the net he's going to be able to and that is going to end the game and that's my explanation for why daryl is the best brawler in the game we ran over a really good team over there so obviously you know that does help give a little bit of proof but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and the rankings. I'm going to be working on brawler guides because, you know, we did a poll and it seems like you guys really want to see those brawler guides. So it looks like I'm going to have 32 brawler guides coming out. Going to go for one a week, maybe two a week. Depends on how long they take to make. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be all for me today and I will catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.